Dominic team reacts after beating Novak Djokovic on Saturday. Photo Jean-Francois Bardia's Associated Press by Jason Gay Jason Gay The Wall Street Journal Biography at Jason Gay Jason Gay USJ Jason Gay at WSJ.com June 8, 2019 12 o'clock p.m. E.T. Somebody's Gotta Play Rafael Nadal in the French Open Final. It's in the rules, no matter how devastatingly good the guy is on clay surfaces, we can't just hand him this trophy, the exquisitely titled La Coupe des Mousquetaires, aka the Musketeers trophy, without making him beat someone. For the second consecutive time, Nadal's prey, rather, opponent, is going to be Dominic Team, who, well, he got thumped badly by Nadal here last year. Wait, it gets worse. Team will be forced to contend with Nadal on less than a day's rest, after a rain delay spread team's sublime 6-2, 3-6, 7-5, 5-7, 7-5 semi-final victory over Novak Djokovic across five sets, four hours and two afternoons. Meanwhile, Nadal, who defeated Roger Federer in brisk straight sets Friday, will have had a full 48 to recover in his silky Roland Garros jammies for Sunday's men's singles final, where he, of course, is Rafael Nadal, who has won this tournament an astonishing 11 times. But give it up here for Dominic Team, who deserves it, after a prolonged and often epic victory against an opponent who's awfully hard to vanquish. In Djokovic team knocked off the world no. 1. A player who had won the most recent Wimbledon, US. Open and Australian Open in consecutive order, and, despite the formidable hurdle of a certain 33-year-old Spaniard, was hoping to complete the Joker Slam cycle in Paris. Even when he struggles, and gets inside his own head, and he did both during this match, repeatedly, Djokovic is perhaps the most tenacious force in tennis, and there were moments when he seemed to be crawling out of another crypt of victory. He did not, however. He did not because team, a 25-year-old Austrian who has yet to win a major, played unbelievably well under trying circumstances. Mother Nature gave team versus Djokovic the rawest of raw deals. Both players began the semi-final on a day's rest, because rain had pushed the quarter-final matches from Wednesday to Thursday. Then the rain tormented him again on Friday, forcing a delay and, eventually, a suspension in the third set. On Saturday, in the fifth set, the rain popped in for another delay, just for laughs. Where the hell like this will soon be a thing of the past. The slapping a roof atop the renovated Philippe Chatria court in time for next year's tournament. It seems Mother Nature was offended, and wanted to mess with Roland Garros one last time. Novak Djokovic reacts after his semi-final loss at the French Open. Photo, Kai Pfaffenbach, Reuters but it didn't undo team, who finished off this screwball of a match in the late afternoon. He beat Djokovic by going right at him, playing assertively, finding the angles, bringing power that kept the 32-year-old Serbian on the wrong foot. Friday was not Djokovic's finest day. Neither was Saturday. That how good team was. Maybe was it was the weather, or the team, or the vision of either one of the tired bodies being sacrificed to Nadal, or some combination of all three, but Djokovic played tetchily. On Saturday, he snarled at the chair umpire for giving him a time delay warning on his serve. Not long after, he angrily slapped a ball against a barrier on the side of the court, coming a few inches from striking an unsuspecting swell sitting in the fancy seats. He didn't even seem to care. That's how cranky Djokovic was, and yet he remained in it to the very end. This was not their Djokovic whom time had beaten here before, in 2017, when the Serbian was distracted and struggling. This was the full Noel, whom you really have to halt with a vampire stake. When Djokovic fended off a pair of match points in the fifth set, match points on team's racket, he looked on the verge of another eye-popping Novak comeback. 
a team, the world, number four, and the one of these things is not like the others. Entry in a nostalgic semi-final round featuring Djokovic, Nadal and Federer refused to relent. He remained the aggressor, never giving Djokovic enough oxygen to climb all the way back. As Team noted in his post-match interview, it was the first five-set match he's ever played at Roland Garros. He has a shot against Nadal. Let's allow that. Team may be the second best men's clay court player in the world, which might sound like being the second best computer company in Cupertino, but he's beaten Nadal on clay before, including this season, in Barcelona. Rafael Nadal will be playing for his 12th career French Open title on Sunday. Photo, Richard Sellers, Zuma Press, that match was best of three sets, however. Best of five is a harsher beast, and that's when Nadal is at his best. Nadal turns an afternoon at Roland Garros into a grinding endurance contest, it's a struggle just to keep up with all his heavy topspin grand strokes, never mind mount any offense. Team can expect plenty of that on very little recovery. It was an amazing experience last year, Team said. I'll try everything to be better this year. It may take everything and more. Dominic team has played brilliantly, but he had to win a marathon just to get here, and on Sunday, that will be Rafael Nadal on the other side of the net. The prey might think about praying for rain, but sadly, the forecast finally looks good. Right to Jason Gay at Jason. Gay at WSJ.com Let's block ads. Why?